So we're ready for another phase in our tiny house build and our tiny house, it's up on blocks. So our tiny house is up on blocks and it's ready for insulation. Spray foam is gonna be sprayed on the bottom and inside. It has to go, you know, under here. So we need to insulate inside as well from the wall to the step. We need to fill in the gaps. Every time you come in the tiny house these days, it seems like there's something new. Down over here, we've got a shower base. Up there, we have our bath fan. And up here, a newly welded hole in the wall. I think it's the vent for the stove. Well, it's the day that we've all been waiting for. Well, at least I've been waiting for. It's time to put in some spray foam. I'm not sure what gets me so excited about spray foam, but I guess we'll find out. It's just so, it's just so, just so foamy. Spray foam is great. It gets into all the nooks and crannies and it just seals everything off perfectly. I have a secret love for spray foam. So next up in this project is drywall. And then everyone's favorite job, mudding and taping. And sanding and mudding and sanding and then mudding and sanding. And maybe feathering? I think feathering. There's feathering? Feathering. It sounds like something you'd do with drywall, right? So the drywall has arrived. It is inside the tiny house and ready to be installed. Drywall, made in Canada. I feel like as I'm getting older, I might need a, a little light joint. Seems like a light joint would maybe lead to a red line. I'm not sure. Drywalling is a specialty and I've taken a stab at it before. On my property, I have built a tiny house for my son because, well, we needed him to move out and he just wasn't going. We have some superstars coming to drywall in this tiny house and I'm excited to see how it turns out. So last time we checked, the drywall had just been delivered. But I think there's been a few little drywall fairies here overnight. Let's go check it out. Oh man, these guys made uh, quick work of this. It really comes together when you get this drywall on. Now the next step here is to tape it and mud it, which uh, is not my favorite thing. But luckily, I'm not doing it. Are you recording all this? Stuff? Yeah, I want to blackmail you later. Cody has never gone to church, and we've been talking to him for years and stuff, but never. Have you ever been in a church? No, no never. never. This back here is Cody. I'm gonna put his email up here and then uh, everyone will email him to come to church. <laughs> so all the goopy tape went on all the seams and then we had to mud. Once the mudding is done, it'll be ready for painting. Got a couple of legends coming in to do the primer coat and then the super pros coming in to do the regular painting. Well, my kids always say like, you get what you get and you can't, get, can't be upset, right? So. <laughs> Yeah, you get what you get. And that's Michael and, and me. And you can't be upset. I yeah. tell ya. But you would you would call yourself a semi-pro. Uh, yeah. I've painted a lot. I don't know if it's any good. Good morning. Hello, there he is. Like Michael got the uh, squeaky wheel over there. You think the guy could bring me some equipment? He didn't. Yeah. He didn't oil his roller first. Like I oiled my drawer at home and then left it. What you do at home is your own business. So there was no drawing of short straws for who has to climb up into this? No, I'm uh, Michael's my superior and so I do what he says. Uh -huh. But this one is a bit goofy because I got to climb up there and scrunch down and right. paint the whole thing. So we'll see. I'll disappear for an hour or so up there. Okay, so I guess I'll invite you over for a hot tub later then. Yeah. I think it should hold you. Uh, I'm thinking, but when I look down here, it's being held up by... <laughs> I know. Yeah. Um, is that, is that, does that look a little ridiculous? That little stick? Let's see here. Oh yeah, that's, that's solid. 
Uh, I'm gonna leave before we catch uh, something horrible on video. Oh, no I'm kidding. Yeah. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and Instagram. It's the best way to stay up to date with all things South Abbotsford Church.